Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification cast this side of East Yorkshire. And today we have a one versus one on Fata Morga. Over in the Steel Legion corner, we've got Gab Piar. As over in the Witch Hunters corner, we have got Vrax. Vrax is going to go for a couple of Ibaitai's melee squads as well as a fire support squad, Sorotus Convent military, and a plasma generator. Whereas Steel Legion are going to go for a couple of soldiers, a generator plant, and a ammunition bunker. So the Witch Hunters have accused the Steel Legion of some foul heresy, and so they will go toe to toe on this map today. Everyone's going around capturing their bits and bobs. Nothing too crazy going on at the beginning of this game. Do have a Cannoness on her way out as well. They're kind of like the Sisters of Battle. We have had a bit of a Sisters of Battle heavy. Uh, week this week, I suppose, but it's a little bit different. There's, there's more misters in this uh, army composition, I imagine, so that is a thing we can expect to see. I do quite like how our pioneers for the Steel Legion are able to capture uh, strategic points. It does allow them to spread out a little bit further and capture their points a little bit quicker than other factions would. Now I'm going to pop down a tarantula to almost like a mirror to what we saw the other day with a God, what was the faction that did this? Uh, Chaos, yeah, Chaos did this, but they did it over on this side, so... Who knows, maybe, maybe they've watched the, the, the games that we do here. I don't know. Well, they're probably not, because this game is from the 6.9 patch. I haven't updated the bug fix patch yet, purely because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I've got, like... I haven't got kids or anything. I just sleep and drink way too much. Anyway, um... Everyone just capturing their bits and bobs. Arbites Sentinel power lift chuntering around along the ground, going to be building up these posts and whatnot. Cannoness has popped somewhere. Where is she? There she is. She'll be seeing these soldier squads with their very impressive sounding las guns. Definitely not like toys that you find from Toys R Us. Rest in peace, uh, Toys R Us giraffe. If it. I don't know if it, I think there's like one Toys R Us left in America, but everywhere else it's all gone to pot. Anyway, large grenade going down from from the Arbites melee combat squad. Will chase away these soldier squads. Lieutenant Colonel on the field, not as chunky as the Colonel with her 1, 1,300 health, cruising on a, on a, a smooth 1,000 himself. Although he does have a ranged advantage, but she looks like she's going to come in and do some punching of her own in close combat. Innocence. Steel Legion moving back just a little bit. This listing post going to be upgraded with a fortified position add-on. One unfortunate soldier falling to the firepower of the Balter Pistol of the Cannon S. Looking like she was going to go for those listing posts, but they're starting to turn around and engage these boys and girls. Backhand from the Lieutenant Colonel. Going to send one of the Abites sprawling into the Neverland. And it does look like, I mean, they, w they will be able to hold. They do have lots of defensive structures to fall back on. Pioneers moving into range as well as these soldiers. Sisters of Battle moving in in their own right. These melee squads in the middle, caught between a rock and a hard place, will get a full squad wipe by looks like. Oh, no, never mind. May possibly survive. We'll have to see. Sisters... Engaging these guys. Combat squad throwing their grid again. They have activated their little range defense ability. So lots of electric bits and bobs being shafted around on the battlefield here. Kind of trying to tie up these soldiers. Managing to backhand a whole bunch of them. Bringing a lot of them down to very low health. Lieutenant Colonel wanting to get in the middle of these ladies. And let me tell you, that is a sandwich. I wouldn't mind getting a part of myself. If you minus the swords and the, the power armor, I guess. The Bites also want to get part of that mixture. Will join in. Absolute surround on that Lieutenant Colonel. Our Bites bringing their shields to bear against these soldiers. Got a fire support squad also moving in as well. It's a very aggressive opening from the sisters. Wanting to get right up in the grills of these Steel Legionnaires. What's going on the bases at the moment? Got a rally station for the Steel Legion. Going to go for a Commissar as well. Anything crazy going on the base at the moment? Nothing too crazy for the sisters. I've managed to separate these soldiers. 
So these guys are going to move around the side, try avoiding these no Arbites. Grenade launchers now on line for the Steel Legion. But this is a lot of ladies to contend with. Even without their upgrades, their sheer numerical superiority will be able to throw these guys back. They will jump into this listing post uh, for defensive reasons, I assume. What's Relay Station do? Uh, new buildings, researches. Oh, it's the research and uh, Stormtroopers. Okay, cool. I think this is maybe like the second Steel Legion game we've done on this channel. And the previous one was done with um, as a Kirkast. So that is a thing. Witch Hunters haven't gone for their opening. They, they can have access to a early game tank in Tier 1 from their local headquarters. So they haven't gone for that. Focusing mainly on their infantry. Cannon S really holding the front lines here. 92 and 20 for the Witch Hunters compared to 92 and 30 of the Steel Legion. So only a slight green money advantage for the Steel lads and lasses. Double Commissars, not wanting to mince around with these boys, are going to be primarily moving around, trying to, I assume, probably trying to tie up these ladies to prevent them from firing. But now we've got a decent firing line of soldiers with their grenade launchers, which will outrange and outmaneuver these sisters for now. Critical location countdown going for the Witch Hunters team. So Steel Legion will need to manoeuvre around somewhere. I do apologise again for the lack of colour. So that, that will get fixed in the next game, I can absolutely assure you. Like I say, busy drinking, busy thinking, all that jazz. Commissar's coming. Let's have a quick ganders at this Commissar. We haven't had a close for him. I do love the aesthetics of um, uh, the Steel Legion. Very World War One. Ish. And the firing line of the Steel Legion has spread out a little bit. Focusing on the middle and the relic of the Witch Hunters. We'll start laying siege to this uh, position. Crusader Veteran out with the Lady Inquisitor. Quite a beast a unit to deal with. Not something you want to get smacked in the face with in close combat. Those, um, well, there's a power axe will absolutely annihilate the squishy infantry of the Steel Legion if they are allowed. Do have soldiers over here decapping this critical location. So the critical location countdown victory will have been ceased for the moment. And quiz to command squad just holding back these. Lads, for a little bit while the Witch Hunters decide what they're going to go for next. They have gone for the Adeptus Sorotus Ar Ar Armorium. Gonna recruit some babies. A divine unit, no, no doubt. What is their function? Fast moving. Ah, like, like, they're like a demon unit. Fast moving, I imagine. They're gonna see if they can use their quick movement speed to do what they can against the firing line of the Steel Legion. In the cold darkness of the far future, even babies are used as cannons for that. Commissars just absolutely having the best time against these lads, backhanding them in a way that only a commissar knows how. Soldiers being backed into a corner by these sisters and arbites. Cherub Choir jumping in, doing some bits of mischief and nonsense. Does disrupt the abilities of other dudes. I imagine that's what the uh, debuffing flare-up of that was, all the, all the lights that you saw around them. Cannon S. Not giving up one iota. She's been in constant combat all this time. Look at that, just, just one fell swoop of her. Power sword and almost an entire unit of soldiers brought down. Pushing into the base. I've got Salamander squad tank add on from the tank bunker. Also, going to go for some more upgrades, frag grenades, and senior officers. 
for the Steel Legion. These guys are going to have to push back from their assault over this side to see if they can help in the defence of their listening posts. Grenade Launcher still doing what they can against these guys, but without the concentrated fire, I do believe that they are not going to contend very well. Salamander's now out. Oh, and let's have a quick ganders at this unit as well. Do quite like it. Yeah. Big stonking auto cannon. Going to chase these guys and gals away. Even the Cherubim Choir shudders at the might of the treads brought by the Salamanders. And the sisters will have to think of some sort of response. Going for a shine of glory will allow them to produce more advanced units. Salamander leading the charge. Well, mind you, holy heck, what, what on earth is doing the damage? Is that... Is that the, the cherubs, or is it something else? Either way, it's bad things were happening to that salamander. Not having the best of times. Cherubins bringing the, bringing the huge debuff to all these guys. Setting their souls on fire, no doubt. As they commit war crimes with every single kill they, they, they get. Inquisition Command and the Cannoness falling back as most of their units fall down 110 and 50 compared to next 2 and 40. So Steel Legion slowly but surely pulling away in the economic game. Governor Bite is pursed full of ladies, but they will have to abandon this position for safer ground. This Abatis post has been upgraded. So we'll be able to defend better. Do have a sentinel? My goodness, look at that with a little for wee flag on it. That's great, that. Do a, can we get a better look at that? There we go. Beautiful stuff. Won't lose that in a crowded market. Significant amount of lads now out on the field. Salamander, being a bit too brave, might want to go home and repair itself. Although, from what I understand, the pioneers don't repair anything, it's a special tank that the Steel Legion have access to, where they can repair bits and bobs. Sentinel, moving forward, equipped with a missile launcher, was used to take down that Salamander, but now we'll be tanking up the brunt of the damage from the Steel Legion. Sisters, not too keen on this. Lady Inquisitor and her Crusader veterans will be tanking a little bit of damage. We do have a Nephilim Night Fighter, ideal against infantry. Will hopefully be able to mulch its way through all these lads and lasses. Love that machine gun sound. Gatling gun that will. By the looks of things, might need a bit more support on the ground. Oh, oh I, I see. It, it was uh, its fire was concentrated on the Commissar. That's why you wouldn't see all the other little units collapse as quickly. It starts to fly away for a little bit. Good turn attention to this Thunderer. It's Thunder with his big stubby old gun. We must fall back. Acts as artillery. Trying to prevent these guys from decapping that critical location in the middle. Yes, Arbites between a rock and a wet place. Might want to go back home before they get a squad wipe. No Does not look like they will survive. Going to go for another Sentinel. Sentinel over here. A little bit worse for wear. Have gone for the escalate engagement research, as I assume that they won't be capturing that strategic point back anytime soon. Sentinel thinking about going in for a kick. Not sure if it's got any close combat capabilities. Nephilim jet fighter now jumping back in. Going to be firing from a distance from the safety of these battle sisters. Steel Legion in a weird position now that they've gone a little bit this way. If they need to retreat, they'll be stuck a little bit. Some kind of ability being affected by them. Not sure if it's positive or negative, but my goodness, does it look pretty indeed. What's going on in the base at the moment? Nothing crazy. Got a Trojan. That is the repair unit. But it does look like the Steel Legion are, are, are very comfortable at this stage of the game. I've been able to wipe out more of these lads and lasses. Cannon S still on full health. Imagine she's got a lay of hands ability of some description as she is full health. 
going to just do her best against all these guys. Inquisitor Command Squad survived by just one veteran crusader. Sentinel over here. Second one. Matching flags. Will use its flame filler to hopefully reduce the morale of these Imperial soldiers. Are going to fall back a little bit. As they are a little bit low on health, quite a lot of these models. So might need to fall back just, just for a couple of minutes, regain their footing. Imagine they have got a thunderer thundering down the middle of the map. Against the sentinel, well, double sentinels. Not sure if the thunderer will be able to stand up to it, although it is quite a quick repair rate from this Trojan. Cannon S, never been given a single moment of respite and rest. Always in the thick of it. Do have some uh, Steel Legion nonsense being drop ported in. This is some Deep Strike Stormtroopers. And these bad boys do look quite tasty, if I do say so myself. One of the older models, I do believe, in... Oh, holy hell, oh, got Legendary Commissar. Looks exactly like Commissar... Y there we go, Commissar Yarrick on the field. Big old arm. Going to be getting in as close as you like. Ripping these Sentinels apart in close combat. Cannoness does look like she's finally gone down. Send reinforcements. The enemy is near. Going to be replacing with a couple of surfing squads. Our bite is powerlifters. They're fairly decent in close combat, I'd say. Maybe it's time to get those lads in combat. Their health isn't great there, but they have got vehicle armour. At this point, although but in saying that, the soldiers now have their missile launchers online, so maybe maybe this is the final death knell of the witch hunters in this match. Surfing's out. Going to see what they can do. Not much, I believe, though. But it was a very good offensive opening from the Witch Hunters. Definitely kept the Steel Legion on their toes. But the gradual bite of the Siege Experts that are the Steel Legion gradually whittling down the numbers of the Sisters. Sentinel collapses and it does look like that Vrax is throwing out the Surrender on the GG. So yeah, exciting, exciting game. Full of action all the way through. So I really like that. So yeah, so the next game that we'll be doing will be the uh, bug fix patch. But th this, I just thought I'd just do one more on the 6.9 just because why not? It saves time anyway. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming. My name's been Mr. Landshark. Pleasure as always, never chop. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.